None of my brick sites were hacked. I did update them fairly quickly anyway, as I was told to, but it turns out my hosting company were way, way ahead of the game and had it all sorted for me before the vulnerability was even made public. Hi, Dave Foy here. So if you're a Bricks user, unless you've been living under a rock, you'll have heard about the recent Big Bricks security scare. Now, to be fair, this didn't just affect Bricks. It also affected Quickly and any page builder for that matter that has a code block element that allows anyone to execute PHP code. A security researcher, Calvin Alken, this chap here, thanks Calvin, he uncovered this potential security hole and alerted the Bricks team right away, privately, I should add. Now Calvin gives full details of the vulnerability here. If you're interested in this kind of thing, I'll drop a link below. There's also a live stream coming up soon with Remkus Tavriz talking to Calvin all about this situation. There should be a replay on that same page afterwards. I'll link to this below as well. Anyway, the Bricks team moved exceptionally quickly. They informed all the users in multiple different ways, multiple times, by email, in the Facebook group, other places, urging everyone to update to Bricks. 1.9.6.1 as fast as they could. I mean, well done Team Bricks, by the way. I don't think they could have handled it any better. Oh, and if you don't know already, if you were affected, the detailed steps to fix it are here. I'll link to this below as well. Anyway, in the meantime, once the word was out, hackers got word of it too and started attacking Bricks sites. Apparently within five or six hours of the details of the vulnerability being out there, I mean, my heart really does go out to everyone whose sites got hit. And from the obvious severity of the problem, I fully expected mine to be too, but none of them were. I mean, yeah, I did update my own Bricks sites as quickly as I could. I'm not sure how long it was after I read the email telling me to update, but my Bricks sites didn't get hacked. Now I assumed it was because I'd moved fast. Maybe I did. Anyway, I don't really know. It was all a bit of a blur that day. But it turns out it's not necessarily because I updated my site quickly. It's because I host with Rocket.net. If you don't know, Rocket.net are a managed hosting company specializing in WordPress. Link in the description. Now I didn't even know about this myself until late last week. I saw this tweet from my friend Sridhar Katakam. Sridhar's also with Rocket.net. He hosts the excellent BricksLabs.com there, which yes, you should totally check out. Thank you both for keeping my site safe before I learned about it and updated the theme. What? Before you updated Bricks? So I backed up a bit to this tweet from Rocket.net CEO, Ben Gabler. We worked together to have rules deployed just minutes later for our customers. Okay. And then Sri further shared a screenshot from a convo he'd had with Ryan Flowers, Rocket.net's head engineer. We worked with Immunify 360 to get patches out to their WAF. That's the web app firewall that Rocket.net uses before the vulnerability was even made public. And the Bricks exploit, as far as we know, was never successfully used on a site hosted at rocket.net. Wow. So from reading the volumes of posts about this on the Bricks Facebook group, I assumed literally the only way to have avoided being hacked would have been to have been quick enough off the mark to update your version of Bricks before the hackers mobilized, unless your host was as proactive as mine. I already love Rocket.net anyway. I mean, I recommend them every single chance that I get, but I really could not love or recommend them more right now. And I'm making this video to share my experience with you in case it might be helpful for you in future. Now, of course, this is the internet. So for those of you out there who absolutely love to grab the wrong end of the stick, let me make a few things really clear. All right, so first, I'm not telling you this story to brag about how clever I was and saying that if you got hacked, you weren't clever enough. I am saying literally the exact opposite. I'm saying this was a complete surprise to me too until late last week. I had no idea. I'm also, I'm not saying that you should have ignored the notifications update bricks immediately. Of course not. I'm not telling you that if you host with rocket.net, you don't have to bother with all the usual common sense, best practice security measures. And no, I'm not suggesting that the only way to avoid getting hacked would have been to host with rocket.net. I mean, first, updating all your brick sites immediately would have done it. And remember, rocket.net are a managed WordPress host. Now, of course, you can put together that level of security yourself if you want to, you know, on a self-managed host. And by the way, if you're looking for a self-managed host, a big shout out to Patrick Gallagher and his team over at Gridpane. If I wanted to self-manage my hosting, that's where I'd go. 
And to be absolutely accurate here, it was technically the Immunify 360 web firewall that Rocket.net used that was the key tool here. And Immunify 360 is available as an add-on with other hosts. But the key here is it comes with Rocket.net as standard. The Rocket.net team worked with Immunify 360 directly on this and acted fast which meant I didn't even have to think about it. I mean, yeah, I've dropped my affiliate link below. If you buy from my link, I am very grateful, of course, but use it or not, I don't mind. I'm just sharing a great experience I had here. I didn't skip a beat during this security issue. It was business as usual, zero time wasted. Now, if you don't know them, Rocket.net is a managed WordPress host. Lightning fast sites delivered and optimized by Cloudflare Enterprise. No need for caching plugins. And security, enterprise level security and malware protection. No need to install any security plugins whatsoever. It's all handled for you. Very easy to use control panel. They have incredible support, like answers within a minute, and they cannot do enough to help you. Now, of course, this isn't some objective review. Far from it. <laughs> I rave about Rocket.net to everyone I meet anyway, but their proactivity in this security issue is the icing on the cake for me. And as I say, no one was as surprised as I was until late last week. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you were affected by this security scare. Were your sites hacked? Were your sites not hacked? If they were, what's it been like fixing it? And what have you put in place to increase your level of security in future? All right, till next time, see ya.